Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about a new arcade core, an update on the IO board that fits on a Sega Saturn, IRIM M92 updates, and more. So let's get to it. The developers of the Mr. Multi system started a discussion about the future of the Mr. FPGA project. This is not a discussion about running more powerful arcades and consoles that the current DE10 Nano can't run. It's more about finding ways to rely less on the DE10 Nano and finding FPGA platforms that could be implemented as an extension or expansion of the current Mr. Ecosystem. There is some really cool discussion regarding this on the forum post, so I suggest you check it out if you want to join in or if you find this type of reading entertaining. Joel Wybrow, who's developing an IO board that can be housed in a Sega Saturn case, has obtained a replica case for MK2 Saturns. Originally, the IO board that Joel was designing was for early Saturn cases, in which replica cases aren't freely available for. So it was suggested by the community that it would be better to use MK2 cases, which you can easily purchase third-party cases for. Using third-party cases will avoid damaging original Sega Saturn cases. Joel Wybrow calls this IO board project the sister FPGA. It looks like IRAM M92 development is much farther along than I had originally thought. Previously, Martin Donlin posted about how he was documenting the IRAM M92 hardware. That was only a couple of weeks ago. Now he's posted a video showing off a core for the arcade game in The Hunt. From the looks of the post, it looks like the game is actually running very well. But Martin does mention that there are slight alignment issues that need to be tracked down. Also, audio is a big missing piece to the current core, and will take a few weeks to get it sorted out. Since this game runs on the IRAM M92 hardware, it should help development for other M92 games like R-Type Leo. The PlayStation Core just got a new release, and the main new feature for it is added support for the Poppin controller. This controller was designed for the Poppin Music series of rhythm games. Other updates to the core involve general bug fixes. Games that have been affected by these fixes are Alien Resurrection, Parasite Eve 2, and Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. The developer also posted a new technical article on Patreon that talks about how he fixed a bug for Alien Resurrection. Core developer Hotego released a beta core for the arcade game Carnov. This is the main game for Hotego's JT Carnov core, which also currently supports the game Chelnov. The core is currently in beta, so it's only available to Patreon subscribers. And there are plans to release one more game for the JT Carnov core before making a public release. Carnov is an action arcade platform game released in 1987 and developed by Data East. The schematic extractions for the main CPS3 PCB are almost done by Hotego's team. The team has also moved on to working on the protection cartridge for the board. Core development has not started yet, but these schematic extractions are an important step to start development. If you're interested in knowing on what was accomplished for the Mr. FPGA project in the year 2022, check out my video regarding this. I talk about the new arcade, console, and computer cores that were released in 2022, what cores are still in development, some hardware developments for the Mr. FPGA, and other Mr. FPGA happenings in 2022. The link to the video will be in the description. And other related Mr. FPGA updates are, for the PCXT core, there's credits also with MDA and an improved LPT dummy feature. That's it for other updates. Please also try to support Swords, the maintainer of the Mr. Project, and other Mr. Developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Kofi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. So that's it for this week's episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.